everybody, welcome to Sunshine Corner. I'm Andrea and I'm here today to show you how to make hummus. I'm going to make a plain hummus, an olive hummus, a mango chutney hummus and a preserved lemon hummus. The reason I'm showing you how to make it is because it's so easy, it's so cheap to make and it's so much better for you than the ready-made stuff you can buy in the supermarkets. So, got our chickpeas. I tend to use um, tin chickpeas just because it's easier. We've got tahini, so for those of you who don't know what tahini is, it is um, sesame paste, and this one um, is an organic one. It's one we sell in the shop, and it's 100% roasted ground sesame seeds. That is it. We have lemon in it, we have garlic in it, and salt. So, basic recipe, chickpeas. Straight in there. What I will say to you is, don't throw the water away from your chickpeas. This is called a um, barber liquid. And this is literally the water that the chickpeas have cooked in. Now for the vegans out there, you'll probably know what this is and used it many times to make meringues. For those of you who've never made a meringue with um, the liquid from a chickpea, don't panic, it doesn't taste a chickpea. It blends like an egg white would. So don't throw it away. You can freeze it and then use it another day or you can use it to put in your, your um, hummus, which is what I do to give the extra liquid. So I put some of that in. I'm gonna put a garlic clove in and I put it in to taste. I'm a little bit scared because I can't say to you put a whole one in because each garlic tastes different. You could have a tiny one that gives a real big punch. So just put in a little bit at a time. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in, just a pinch. Again, to your taste, I'm quite a salty tasting person. Here's my tahini already done. I put in about a tablespoon and a half for that and again once I've blended it I'll give it a taste and see what I think and then add more um, if um, I think so. What I say to my daughter is you can add but you can't take away so don't put loads and loads in. Some of the recipes will say put a teaspoon of this in and a tablespoon of that. I try not to do that I tend to adapt as I'm going along and taste which is what all the great chefs say to do. So we've got everything in there so we've got the chickpeas, the tahini, the lemon juice, the garlic and the salt and that my friends is a basic hummus recipe. Can you see? And that's quite a smooth one, let's have a taste. Oh, perfect, if I say so myself. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna make two different hummuses. So, I'm gonna take this bit out from here. Can you see how smooth that is? We've got our basic hummus that we've made. Um, now I'm going to make an olive hummus and I'm going to make a mango chutney hummus. I had this in a soup from a supermarket a few months ago and I was like, oh, it's going to be not very nice. But it was beautiful, really nice with um, Dorito, you know, the, the tortilla chips. So let's make olive hummus and it is literally just fresh olives. So I'll put one in my mouth. Put as little or as many as you want in there. Um, a little bit more liquid in. Let's just have a little taste. I think it could have a few more olives in it. Let's put some more in. One can never have too many olives, do you think, people? There, my friends is an olive hummus that in the supermarket for a decent one you're looking at probably at about three pound four pound four and there you go and this has no additives no preservatives no rubbish you literally watched me put tahini chickpeas salt garlic lemon juice and olives in too So, a couple of weeks ago, 
and um, I think you would have seen if you follow us on Instagram and Facebook and all the other social media channels you'll see that I made some preserved lemons so when um, I buy my lemons I usually get them I get them from here and if they're just sometimes you think oh they're just maybe going past their best or whatever and especially here they might be sometimes we think they're not to our high standard that we want to sell them then I take them off the shelf and then I make preserved lemons with them so we don't want to use all of it because it's really really salty so you know when I was saying earlier on about adding salt to your hummus again you would be mindful if you were making a making one from scratch that was with preserved lemons because it's very salty in itself so the hummus we have left over that we made I'm going to put this in just because it's you know it's, it's able to take it it's so lovely that could be my best one yet there you go we are going to make um, mango chutney hummus like I said earlier on I was like very skeptical when I seen it on the shelf of the supermarket to be honest, I think I bought it because it was reduced. I probably wouldn't have paid the £3 dodge that they wanted for it originally. So I bought it, brought it home, and the family loved it. So I'm going to get some of this mango. There's the remainder of the hummus that we made earlier on. Mango chutney in. Let's have a taste. beautiful and that my friends is mango hummus easy peasy lemon squeezy so here we've got the olive hummus the mango chutney hummus and the preserved lemon hummus again remember wanted a chickpeas bit of this tahini garlic and lemon juice and there you've got your basic hummus you could put these spices on this one's a zatar this one's baharat which is um, a middle eastern spice that's lovely that'd be really lovely on the preserved lemon either of them probably yeah on any of them really so there we have it andrea's hummus from sunshine corner